Thank you for taking time to come back to the channel. In this video review, we're going to be looking at the Masters of the WWE Universe, Undertaker, Dead Man Walking. Packaging set like what we're used to with this line. We've got the nice blast effect of the stonework. We've got the skull torches. Highly articulated for posing power. On the back of the box is a little diagram showing like we're, how to make it glow in the dark. Put it under a light and it glows in the dark. And other figures in the wave. On the top of the box, there's some great artwork of The Undertaker. And below the artwork, there's a little short bio for The Undertaker and the w Masters of the WWE Universe. Some Lee Lee's, uh, official logos. On the top of the box, you have like a little holographic sticker that uh, shows that it's an official licensed uh, product of the WWE. One of the big draws for this figure is uh, the fact that he actually glows in the dark. Before we take him out of the packaging, um, you can, let's see how well he glows in the packaging. As you can see, the Undertaker glows really well. It's bright green when he's charged up. Let's take him out of the packaging and take a closer look. Undertaker comes packaged without his armor on, so you can see the, the nice skeleton uh, design painted onto the body. His weapons and armor are in a little baggie on the back of the plastic tray. Let's get the Undertaker out of the plastic tray. Here we have the dead man freed from his tray. The wreak have it on the Skull King. The Undertaker has rested for eons. There is only one thing that could have disturbed his thousand year slumber. Skull King. The Skull King crown was never meant for the land of the living. So the Undertaker was seeks to reclaim it for the land of the dead. For accessories, the Undertaker comes with the chest armor, the halberton. He does have an elbow pad that you can remove. And he, of course, all the Masters of the WWE Universe figures come with the single page uh, comic. The only thing, uh, the artwork's really nice the, for, what you, uh, for these little books, but I kind of wish they would actually give a little mention to the artist or the writers for these little books because there's no credits whatsoever in these books you got a little the only thing you've got to is the signature of the artist on the front but you don't have any credits throughout the rest of the book the booklet if you know a lot about the masters of the wwe figures they, they use a lot have a lot of reuse of parts of the masters universe classics the Armored piece, tunic, the shoulder armor is actually a recolor of the Master Universe Classics Triclops figure. I'm bringing in the, that figure, you can see it's the same armor piece, just in bl all black with silver highlights on the stones and the buttons. As you can see, even on the back, you can see it has the same knife sculpts on the back. The only thing about using this piece for Triclops, it's got a place to put the sword. And the Undertaker doesn't come with a sword, Pete. Sword to actually holster anywhere. And if you're more into uh, WWE figures than you are Masters Universe, you may not know the the reason why the Undertaker is decoed like this is to mimic the character uh, Scareglow. I don't have the or origin Scareglow yet, but I do have the Masters Universe Classics. And this figure also glows in the dark. At first, I would have thought they would use the same Halliburton as for the classics but this is actually a different sculpt it's probably the one they've been using for the multi uh, origins uh, scare glow so kind of wish they would have gave us a full-size classics one like they do with a lot of the other weapons accessories in the master of the wwe universe from what i've seen pictures of the origins uh, scare glow versus the undertaker scare glow mo uh, design i like the paint job on the undertaker one better than in the on the Motu Origins Scare Glow. The, skull pat the skeleton, skeletal pattern actually looks a lot nicer on the Undertaker. And I like the glow in the dark material they use for the Undertaker better than on Scare Glow. The Scare Glow's got like almost a yellowish tint to the plastic. Well, at least what I've seen in pictures. I like the color on this material where it's almost a, almost a milky white. And the material on this figure really glows well after it's been charged up. It almost you almost think it's got batteries and it's got light and source inside it glows so well as for paint amps on the undertaker they're really nice and clean his eyes are whited out we've got the 
skeletal pattern painted onto the figure. He's got the Undertaker symbol on his paint on the legs. Unlike the, like, a lot of the other Masters of WWE, if you strip this one off, it's, you won't get a direct, just straight wrestling fi style figure of it since you've got the milky white skin and the skeletal pattern painted on. The figure is built just like all the other uh, Masters of the WWE Universe and Motu Origins figures with the removable arms, pull apart at the waist. And you can remove the boots, the head, all very simple. As for articulation, the head is on, on a ball peg, but with the hair, it's gonna be limited to how much you can move it. It's basically gonna be limited to basically. You can get a little bit of tilt and side to side, you can't really get much movement, no up movement up. Just a little, you can get a little bit down. Disc in shoulders, go way out to here. There's no bicep swivel. The swivel is in the elbow. Now let's go use the one with the, el out the elbow pad. You can get close to 90 degrees and you swivel here instead of the bicep swivel. Hinge swivel, wrist. There's no ab, ab articulation, there's just a waist twist. Ball joint at hips. You kick out the sides this far. Single joint knees. Kick up to here. Also swivels at the knee. There's also a boot swivel. Hinged up and down feet and ankle pivots. All in all, it's a great looking figure. One, back in the day, I was a huge Undertaker fan when I was a kid. And plus, I love glow in the dark figures. So, win win for me on this one. I had to get this one. Luckily, I was able to get this one and I tracked down an extra one to get for my, my buddy of mine. So all in all, I highly recommend this figure. Uh, if you can find this one, snatch it up. It's just such a cool looking figure. I love the glow of the glow in the dark feature. And it really stands out and it's kind of cool when you turn off the lights in your collection room and you heading upstairs, you can see it glowing across the room. It's pretty, pretty cool to see. Thank you for taking the time to watch the review. And please like, share, subscribe, comment. It really helps us out in the channel. And uh, without the sharing and liking, commenting, the, the videos don't get picked up by the algorithm and they don't get recommended by anyone. So it really helps. And we'll see you next time.